This episode of Fluff Dragon Art is brought to you by my incredible patrons, including the epically generous Shadow Symbiote, Shepherd Shield, Gigabit the Saved Gamer, Ben, Queen Haiku, Thundernote the Change Pony, and Sharpwit. If you would like to join my private Discord server, get featured in my videos, join my monthly and weekly live streams, get free art and a bunch of other awesome stuff, click the link in the description below. Hello my fluffs, Lonnie your fluff dragon overlord here with your weekly character creations and speed art. If you like what you see, help me to continue making this content for free by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. I've been fortunate enough to not have many horrible free art beggars haunt my DMs on Twitter, but I knew that wasn't the case with everyone. So I asked you guys to share with me your best, worst art beggar stories and oh boy, did you deliver. The first story comes from a good friend of mine and a patron, Kayla Del Rose on Twitter. She says, When I was first starting out on Twitter, there was this guy who I blocked, who begged for an art piece. I had no confidence at the time and nothing better to do, so I did it. But then he kept adding on all these requests in on the piece and I completed it. It all took five hours, oof, and I got no likes, no retweets for the effort, plus I hated his character. <laughs> okay, I can totally relate to this. I will never say who, but I have had a few people commission me where I've looked at their OC and had a freaking panic attack over not liking their character and worrying that that was going to show through on the commission. It, uh, it isn't a pleasant feeling. She continues, well, if you give a mouse a cookie, it's going to want another. This guy came back for more and I said no. The last piece I made him, he annoyed the crap out of me and it did nothing for me. Usually I loved making free art just to make people smile, but this guy had sucked the joy out of the last piece I did for him. And then the begging began. How he just wanted a picture with another outfit. Just one and I had so many. I uh, didn't at the time. And he demanded that I make him more art. So to get him off my back I did another because my confidence was low. And this time the piece came out really good. But this whole time we had been talking in DM. I talked to my client and requesters even now to chit, chit chat and uh, bounce ideas off of with for their pieces. But he kept saying his OC looked like he was giving bedroom eyes and wasn't his OC so handsome winky face. So he creeped me out, completed the piece and blocked him forever. Now I don't want to do free pieces unless it's to test out a new style or advertisement or if I just feel like it under the term requests. <laughs> yeah, confidence to stand up for yourself as an artist is vital. It doesn't matter if you're a preschooler or da Vinci. Learning to say no to people who are trying to take advantage of you is important to maintaining your health and sanity. The next story comes from Sister Grim 19 on DeviantArt. She says, I was just starting out on DA and I had drawn me hugging a character from the comic book series Lenore. Not long after the picture was posted, I got a note asking me to join a contest. I was already bu busy with a big art project, but I read the contest anyway. I was asking for people to make some, or it was asking for people to make some art for a sick little girl's birthday. I replied to the note saying, I adore the idea and will happily share the contest on my page, but I'm currently very busy and can't join. I get a note back saying, really? But she super loves your art. This sent up a red flag, but I tried to be nice. That's very sweet, but I'm not able to join any contests. If you'd like to commission me later, I'd be happy to make her something then. I immediately got back a, she's very sick, you should draw her something. I was shocked by this and again apologized, but informed them that I had other projects. They blocked me after messaging me that I was selfish and rude and they hoped I was happy. Yeah, yes. The uh, classic guilt trip. I can see a few discrepancies here. One, the beggar never says what the illness is. Two, I never heard mention of a prize, so this isn't exactly a contest, just a demand for free art. Three, the constant desperate demands through DMs. 
There are a few others that I won't mention so as to not encourage this kind of childish behavior, but seriously, kids. Adults know when you're lying. Don't embarrass yourself like this. Next story comes from Lightning Bliss on YouTube, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I think I may have a story. I was, it was early back when I was just getting a little more well-known in the community. I recently moved to DA to do commissions and I was getting a few. I remember I got this one request for a commission. The conversation went along the lines of this. Entitled Person, or EP. Hey, your artwork is great! Do you think you could do my OC for points? Me. Sorry, but I can only accept real money at this time. EP. But I'm a kid! I can only, er, I can only do points! I don't have any money. Me. Then I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I have to pay bills. EP. Seriously? Your art isn't even that good for money. Wow. For a brony, you sure are mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because everyone knows if you don't get your way, insulting the person will totally work. <laughs> uh, she continues. Me. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm trying to make this a livelihood. But if you ask around, I'm sure there will be other artists that are willing to do some art for you for free. EP. Whatever. You're really unprofessional. Didn't even like your stuff anyway. Bye. I didn't reply after that. Girl, you didn't need to. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, DA points cannot be translated to actual cash. Just used for certain things on DA. For an artist who's trying to pay bills, this is not a good option at all. You guys... I have so many more art beggar stories in my arsenal, it's crazy. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to hear more or even if you have a story of, a, of your own that you would like to share. Who knows, maybe I'll pop it into a part two. Stay fluffy my friends, see you next time.